Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike York. Today is Thursday, and it's January 3rd. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning thus far. Uh, we do got a couple economic news to go over today, so we'll just jump right into it. Uh, we'll start with the ADP employment for the month of December. So uh, this is a number that typically would be released yesterday, but due to the holiday uh, on Tuesday, it was got moved over to today. So uh, the previous reporting uh, in uh, November came in at 157,000. Oops, sorry about that. 157,000 new job creations. Now this was reduced about 22,000 jobs uh, reduced. So we had a reduction on that. It was around 171 or so. Uh, the for, uh, forecast actually rate around 170,000, and it came in uh, 271,000. So really hot number here, about 100,000 more than what we uh, would have projected for this number here. So remember, tomorrow we do got the uh, BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics numbers coming in, and that's going to be kind of a big one to watch for. Now, with a strong number like this today, and of course, you know, we have the sample week uh, for week, initial weekly jobless claims, so that came in pretty strong too. So we kind of believe that tomorrow will be a strong Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, jobs numbers for tomorrow. And that's something to kind of watch out for, and that would obviously uh, could really affect the markets. Uh, and the other item to watch for on that would be the uh, the wages, if we're going to have wage-based inflation. So some, something like that's going to really be watched by the investors in terms of, like, uh, you know, uh, income levels. Uh, also to move along here, we have the weekly jobless claims. So, again, uh, this was revised about 5,000 uh, higher. So this was uh, initially around 216,000 uh, jobs, uh, people applying for unemployment, and it was increased to 221 forecast for this week was 218 they exceeded that by quite a bit to 231,000 so again we have to kind of watch the jobless claims uh, but sometimes around this time of the year we do get these and we'll get some improvement but again uh, let's kind of watch to see if this continues to be a trend we were down about the 200,000 level you know around the two mid uh, in the teens and now it seems to be kind of growing so let's kind of watch to see if this continues a trend going upward or if we cannot uh, keep it low like this as well. Uh, last but not least, we got the ISM Manufacturing Index yesterday. As you may have seen, we had the market. Now we got the ISM. Uh, previous reporting uh, came in at 59.3%. Uh, Forecast supposed to dip down to 57. They dipped much further than that. So it kind of came in a bit of a shocker at 54.1. And kind of as a result, the stock market is down. It's kind of combined with the comments by Apple yesterday, uh, which released you know, there are some numbers yesterday and basically saying it was disappointing sales. Uh, you know, back in November, they basically announced that they weren't going to release uh, unit sales on their iPhones because they're, uh, because of concerns. They just don't, they're facing stiff competition. They're having a harder time selling their $1,000 iPhones now. And so they're looking at dollar amounts. So they're just going to try to release those numbers versus units. And, uh, so when they made comments yesterday due to the uh, cut in their earnings and their potential, uh, they basically blamed it on China. And, of course, yesterday, if you recall, China had the manufacturing data that came out that came in much, uh, basically, uh, a pullback it receded. It was actually uh, below 50 on those index numbers, and anything below 50 is contraction. And that was the lowest they've seen that since 2016. Now, Coupled with our drop in our manufacturing, uh, our manufacturing number today, the stock market really started tanking. It's down, Dallas right now down over 600. Uh, as a result, it was down a bit, like around 100 to 300. And when the manufacturing came up, it, it continued to drop even more rapidly. Uh, that, Nasdaq's down about 188 so far this morning. So on the good side of things, uh, you know, mortgage back securities benefiting from that. So money is going to this flight of safety, leaving the stock market is going into bonds and mortgage back securities, which is helping improve interest rates. So we yesterday we broke above this first level of uh, Fibonacci level, and we're kind of continuing this trend here. Now tomorrow, ahead of the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you may want to kind of lock in here if you're out there. Uh, we've been over a month here uh, in this overbought position here. And we are probably due for a uh, turn at some point. And we've got gained quite a bit of uh, process, as you can see, from here all the way up to here. We gained a pretty substantial amount in that process. So we may be due for a pullback and may want to be a little cautious and may lock, want to lock in today uh, before any uh, possibility tomorrow with a very good jobs numbers 
data that could uh, you know uh, help the stock market and hurt us uh, the mortgage backed securities any interest rates that you may capture today so just be a little cautious ahead of tomorrow's numbers uh, as you can see here's the treasuries broke down even further we're testing the next floor of support at the 2.57 range uh, yeah 1.257 and uh, so again this is uh, something you want to keep an eye on uh, see if this holds here or not but Again, uh, it's got a lot of room for upward growth. So if we have that turnaround and we've been this oversold position for, I'm sorry, yeah, oversold position, uh, it's due for a turnaround as well. So just be a little cautious out there. But today, the good news is uh, interest rates improved. We got improvement in our rates. Uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We look forward to see you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys want to get any further updates, you can get those on Twitter at Mike Bjork. All right, take care, guys. Bye bye.